decided to make another car monologue. Going down south again to see a client, time and size jam tonight. I had a client schedule an appointment the other day and recall the conversation I'd had with Scott Lindquist. Scott Lindquist uh, created a series called Rebooking Mastery. You should really check out if you're a massage therapist. He created a, a, a class, I think, on Teachable, where he's bringing you through a video sequence and teaching you how to rebook clients. But as Scott and I developed a friendship through the Massage Entrepreneurs Group on Facebook, I was encouraging everybody to just, you know, get all over social media because massage therapists aren't using it. And Scott stopped at one point and he said, how many clients do you get from social media? And I stopped for two seconds and said, none. And he's like, so why are you encouraging these people to, you know, make YouTube videos? And immediately I was like, well, there's a difference between building a following and getting a client. Building a following would get you more clients sometimes than getting clients will. When I produce YouTube videos, Google is owned by YouTube, so it increases my search engine optimization. So even though directly I might not be getting clients from that specific video, I can be getting clients from that video because Google is burst boosting my search engine optimization because I put up a video related to carpal tunnel. And what happened the other day was a, a guy scheduled an appointment, I think for his wife or his girlfriend, and in the comments section on my online scheduler, he said that the reason he scheduled the appointment was because he'd been using my videos to work on his girlfriend. So all this free content I'd been producing, he was using that as tutorials to work on his wife or girlfriend. And then he decided, listen, we're in San Antonio. I'm just going to send her up and get a session with you. That's how I win. I'm going to make $240 for that one session. And the thing is, how many more videos will I pull out? How many more clients will I get? How much more attention will I draw? How much larger will my social media become? Because right now, I'll put this video up on YouTube. It might get about 100 views. Over the years, it'll get 1,000. But what happens when my entire channel gets beyond a certain point and it kind of spills over in the massage industry? Well, the point is, you win. And you win because you put time and energy into building your business and building a following and building a fan base, not just hey, going, hey man, I can sell you something. Hey, I can sell you something. Hey, I can sell you something. When you do that, nobody listens. People are tired of being sold stuff. They want to be given stuff. And if you can structure that correctly and go in and give, in my case, I give them a free time massage workbook. I give them free YouTube content. I give them free videos like this. When massage therapists are broke and they're looking for somebody to help them, who are they going to listen to? And it's because I give it to them for free and I don't charge anything. Massage Entrepreneurs was set up as a platform for me to be able to give out business advice to massage therapists to be able to help them. Because if I tried to sell them on my classes, they wouldn't listen. They don't want to buy. CE classes are expensive. You don't really learn anything in CE classes that's worth knowing, right? Right? So what I did is I set up massage entrepreneurs and I start to talk to massage therapists about business and I give them free business advice and a year later guess whose classes they want to take. Yep, and it's because I'm trying to get massage therapists to replicate what I'm doing, not follow a top-down menu of do this, do this, do this, do this. I don't have any interest in creating minions. Mini me's don't interest me. If you're going to study with me, you're going to ask deeper questions. What you wind up doing is you're creating content for your followers. And when I ask you what do they want, look at it deeply from sessions. What do people want? In my case, they wanted pain relief, so I gave them videos on that. They wanted to know how to work on themselves, so I gave them that. Massage therapists will consistently tell me that if you teach people how to work on themselves, they won't come see you. Wrong. What happens is when you teach people to work on themselves, you draw thousands upon thousands of people to your YouTube channel and you get another chance to create connectivity. And that connectivity long term leads to a following and leads to money. People will pay you when you've demonstrated yourself as an expert. If I hit your website and you have no videos, 
I don't think you're a professional. And that includes the massage industry in addition to others. That's just how things are these days. I'm more willing to listen to you if you have free content than I am if you have like big standing in the industry. If you're not providing me free information, I'm just not really interested. And I think increasingly consumers across platforms, across businesses, across industries are like that. You know, if you're a plumber and you make short videos showing people how to, you know, change their own garbage disposal, you can think, oh, well, people aren't going to change their garbage disposal. Or I should say, they're going to change their garbage disposal themselves and not have me do it. It's like, no, it's a big advert where they go, man, this is a lot of work. I got to have tools and knowledge. I'd rather just pay him. He knows what he's doing. I saw he had a video. What's his number calling? That's how you got to do it, guys. We're going to keep this one short. What you got to do is go out and kick ass. Go do it.